Today we're going to be trying the Samyang Korean Black Bean Noodles. Hey you guys, welcome back to Dining with Danny. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel to watch me eat. I love it. Thank you. Today we're going to be eating um, Samyang noodles. Um, it's going to be the Korean Black Bean Sauce. Let me show you guys the cake. Mm. See that on the side? Black bean sauce. I'm excited. It's supposed to be spicy. Um, I, I already cooked the noodles. I put the flakes in. The flakes came in the thingy like this. I'm sorry, y'all. My nose is off. I broke a nail. I broke two nails, actually. <laughs> um, I already put the flakes in while I cooked it. So... Now I just have to put the sauce in. I'm not too afraid of these ones. Um, as I was the two times spicy. The two times spicy noodles are ridiculous. Woo, that's re oh that sauce is black black. Oh, that's black. That's real black. Okay. Oh, it smells good though. Oh, that smells good. Yummy. That smells phenomenal. Mm. I'm sorry, I need all of my sauce, okay? <laughs> mm. Oh, it has, it got, do got a little kick to it. Oh, it does have a kick. Ooh. I'm thinking like black bean. That's not going to be spicy. I'm wrong, huh? Oh, no. I didn't know. I didn't know that this was going to be spicy. I just felt like, look at that. Ooh. All right. Let's mix these bad boys up. They look good. Oh, can y'all see this? This ish look real bomb, okay? Mmm. How have you guys been? I haven't really done, um, a, I haven't done a lot of videos. I'm very, very new to this. So what I didn't know was in order to be a part of the mukbang community, you have to constantly, um, upload content. Here I am thinking, you know, starting out, starting out. Oh, you do your one little video, you good. <laughs> but no, that's not it. That is not it. And I keep I keep checking it like, oh, I have I have over a hundred views, yay. And I know some of you are like, girl bye, that's nothing. But it was a big deal to me. Reaching two hundred views was a big deal to me because I didn't think anybody cared. <laughs> I'm like, you know. I wasn't really concerned about um, making videos and stuff because I'm like, eh, people don't care. You know, I'm going to just do it for fun. But I see people really, really becoming successful on YouTube. And I'm like, you know what? Just don't be afraid. Maybe, you know, maybe people will care about what you're doing. Maybe. Especially, like... Females like me, or men, I guess. Um, like I told y'all in my last video, I have five children. I recently left my job to start a um, catering company. Can y'all see this? This looks so bomb, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I left my job. I was working. I had a career in hospitality. So I was like a supervisor at a hotel in Old City, like a section of Center City in Philadelphia. Um, I love my job. Let me get started. This looks so good. I love my job, right? I was really good at it. But this was on my heart to do. 
um, start this catering company. So I was like, you know what? Let me not prolong it anymore. Let me just do it. So. Mm. These are really, really good and spicy. Oh my gosh. I swear it's like I had a revelation. Wow, these are so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. No, these are really, these are the bomb. Mm. But anyways. Okay. I was like, let me just go ahead and do it. So I did it. Initially, I started the business while working at the hotel, right? Got the business, like, like I, I got licensed. Um, I got my federal tax number. Like my EIN number, I got my business cards made. I started getting equipment and stuff. Mm. Oh, and I have peach mango lemonade. So, um, yeah, I got everything that I needed, right? And what ended up happening was I worked so much at the hotel that I had really no time. I really had no time to focus on my business. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So months went by, I hadn't put any effort, any work into my business, um, and I felt it just like, you know how it is, like, when you are very excited about something and you don't see it coming to fruition how you had it planned, I started getting a little discouraged, like, well, you know what, maybe I'm not meant to do it, but Upon prayer and talking to God, it was like, no, you need to work. You know, you need to put in some work. So that's what I needed to do. Hmm. And thank God that I had a husband who was able to financially provide for us, like without my income. Right away, anyway. Because he was able to say, he was able to say to me, like, you know, I support you. I should, I support you, you know, your uh, decision to leave work and focus on your dreams. Like, I can hold us down while you, you know, while you're doing it. So I was like, great. You know, with the support of him and my, my family and everything. I left my job. I was sad. I was so sad about it at first. Mm. I think I might like these better than the other ones. Mm. 
it's still that thick Sam Yang noodle, but this sauce is like bomb. Mm. Man, this sauce is the bomb. Oh, this is two packs, by the way. I don't know how those mukbangers do it with four and five packs. I could never. I could never eat that much. <laughs> Mm. Listen, I don't want to waste no food. All these people that live in this house, I ain't got no food to waste. You hear me? None at all. So I'm going to make just enough for me to eat without having to waste it. This is really spicy, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really, really spicy. By the way, let me, let me tell y'all something. I, um, hold on. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I did not get my noodles from Amazon this time i actually found out that well here in philadelphia we have this thing called h mart korean superstore supermarket sorry i don't know where else in the world they are but if you have you at h mart let me tell y'all something instead of paying how much were they on amazon i think like 13.98 for a five pack or something like that. I paid $6.99 for a five pack. Five packs of these. Five packs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and at H Mart I was able to get um what was it I was able to get the curry noodles I was able to get the volcano noodles the mala noodles the cheesy noodles the two times spicy noodles i was able to get all of that i couldn't believe it i was in noodle heaven oh and i got a snack wait let me show y'all the snack that i got hold on Y'all see? My braids are long. <laughs> um, so I got this snack from Sam Yang. And I'm going to actually try this on camera for you guys. Can you see this? Mm-hmm. fighting with no bags, okay? I have no time for that. Alright. So, upon opening, hmm, okay, so it looks like this. Let me see. There it is. You see it? Mm. 
Ja. Hot chicken for... This was like a hot, a spicy noodle chip. These are hot. These are hot, y'all. All right. Um, they are hot. And they taste like the spicy noodles. Holy smokes. That's cool. Mmm. Did y'all know that Simeon made snacks? I didn't. Mm -hmm. I had no idea until I went to H Mart. And I was like, that's dope. Like, we got a couple snacks though. We got like, we tried a couple things from the Korean market. Everything was good. I got a bag of dumplings. Because that's one thing I do need to learn how to do is make my own dumplings. Because I love love dumplings and they had a spicy dumpling sauce mm, my god mm. Mm. let me find out i'm getting full hmm I can't finish two packs. <laughs> and I'm talking about like, I'm making enough so I won't waste it. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep trying for y'all. This is for y'all, okay? I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to go a little further. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it all. That's why I had to put those snacks down, too. Because I'm like, I don't know. I doubt if I'm going to be able to finish it. Y'all, I want to talk to Miss Miriam. Her channel is, it's so good. <laughs> I love her. Miss Miriam, I just want you to see this so bad. I know you probably won't, but I'm hoping you do. Your videos inspire me every day, I promise you. And you know what it is? Your smile. When you eat your food and you <laughs> whatever that smile is that you give us. Oh, it brightens my day. Like it legit brightens my day. It makes me happy. Her channel was so bomb. One day I put it on mute and I showed my husband. And she was eating the white chocolate and everything out of the deodorant um containers <laughs> he was like what the hell is she doing i was like i know it's gross right he was like ew how can she just eat that deodorant like that i was like i don't know but i let him know eventually like that's it's white chocolate <laughs> he was like oh we just cracked up. It was so funny. Mm-mm, y'all. I can't. They're so good, but you know what? Because it's so spicy. And I keep drinking this juice like I'm about to do. I'm getting full. These bad boys is spicy. They're spicy. 
you know what? Someone was in my mess. Um, someone sent me a message asking about my braids because you guys, I think I post my social media. Oh, excuse me. I post my social media um, in the description box. So they started following me. And he was, you know, commenting on my braids. Oh my God, who does your braids? I do not go to a salon. In fact, my little sister does it. Mm hmm. My little sister does it. And she's amazing. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look how neat and professional this is. You know what I mean? Without having to go to a salon and they charge you two fifty. Like that's how much they the salon wanted for these braids because of how long they were. And the top is the feeding braids and stuff. Two fifty. Mm mm. I ain't got it. I ain't got it, sis. <laughs> mm mm. I do not have two fifty for my hair. I'm sorry, I don't. I have to pay for. Oh, so fun fact: I have carpal tunnel and osteoarthritis in my right hand, from my fingertips all the way up to my shoulder blade. So I can barely do hair and stuff like that. I have four daughters with a bunch of hair. So, I have to pay for their hairs to get done, too. So, I can't afford two fifty for my hair and still have to pay for their hair to get done. That's a that's a bit much. Mm -mm. I'm trying. Y'all see me, right? Hold up. Let me see this over here. I'm trying for y'all. You see that? Uh. <laughs> mm. They are the bomb though. I ate a lot. I did, I ate a lot. But yeah, I can't afford um 250. So I go to my sister and she's amazing. If anybody is from the Philadelphia area and would like to experience this, <laughs> I will write her um, social media account. Mm. I need some more. <laughs> down below I'll, hit, I'll put her social media accounts um, in the description box and just hit her up and be like yo mention this video she'll probably give you a discount <laughs> I'm going to show her that she's going to be like who the hell said I was giving discounts but I'm going to try to get, get y'all some discounts <laughs> Mm -hmm. And she travels too. She'll come to your house. Because let me tell you, that's another issue I have with getting my hair braided and stuff because my hair of okay so a couple years ago I cut my hair completely off completely like it was short like my husband's like it was like a boy you know um because it was just so damaged and broken <sighs> so I did the big chop the moment my hair started to grow back in its natural curl pattern and I was moisturizing it and you know making sure I was good I started she started braiding it and she my hair was like this 
my hair was at least like two inches, right? Like one and a half, two inches, and she was gripping that thing. And I had long individuals and braids and uh, uh, uh. and my hair started growing back like this. And I was like, oh, this is the case. So literally, I love protective styles like this. I love my braids. You'll probably always, always see me with braids. Like, you check my social media. I had my own hair out a couple, a few times. Um, but I sweat so much. And then, you know, being natural and stuff like that, it's just a lot. And I don't have time, again, to sit and twist. That hurts my hands. So... I just had her braided. My hair grew back so fast, so long, so strong. Y'all have no idea. My hair is the bomb right now under these braids. So I love braids. Love, 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 love braids. And I don't know why, but I love my braids long down to my behind. <laughs> I do. Y'all think I'm tapping out. Oh, child. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Mm -mm. Got my little snacks. <laughs> I can't. I can't eat no more. Mm. Like, how can you eat? How you so full, but you can still drink juice? I don't know. I'm full. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys what was left. This is what was left. Oops. It's good. It's really, really, really good. Y'all help me. I hope and pray that you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate all of, all of the love and the support that I've gotten thus far. Um, like I said before, as a very, very, very small, just starting off YouTube platform, any and all support I can get. Um, it truly just brightens my day and just makes me happy. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being here. And I hope you to, to see you guys soon. I'm going to try my absolute best. You know, it's really hard with, with the five kids to get the house quiet enough for me to do a mukbang. So this is a treat right now for me. Um, I got them all upstairs, like cleaning their rooms and stuff like that after, after lunch. So... It's pretty quiet, thank God. But it's not always like this in a house with five children. So maybe I'll bring them all on the channel one day so you guys can meet them, say hi to them. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. I'll do my absolute best to, to put out more content. Um, if you do like it, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that the moment I put up a new a video you guys will know and you can come and watch it simple as that <laughs> no but thank you guys for being here and i will see you soon thank you